Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today is a very special day for many of us here, uh, and you're wondering why we're decorated in the way we are. And once a year, uh, Australia and New Zealand collectively uh, res remember a common uh, period of their history where they went to war together. And the war uh, was the Great War, but tonight we remember all wars, and we remember all of our fallen. Uh, Australia and New Zealand formed a common core back in 19, in the First World War called the ANZACs, the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. And we're gathered here this evening on the anniversary of the landings on the Gallipoli Peninsula to think of comrades who went out to battlefields of all wars in which Australia and New Zealand had participated but did not return. We feel them still here in spirit, and we wish them worthy of their great sacrifice. Let us therefore, tonight, dedicate ourselves to the ideals for which they died, and the spirit that lives on in us as Anzacs, and Australians, and New Zealanders, and all those that feel kindred spirit to us. As the dawn pierces the night, so let their memory inspire us to work for the coming evening in what we call an Anzac Dusk Music Salute. And may our music reach in to the dark places of the world where our fallen rest. And may our spirits continue to maintain what we call the Anzac spirit. This morning at dawn, over 1,200 people gathered at Hellfire Pass, 70 kilometres northwest of Kanchanaburi. And it's a place that is among many, of, 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 there are several in the world that were uh, very, very special for Australians, one of which is Gallipoli. But today marked the 60th anniversary of that particular activity. Um, in Hellfire Pass. And we had a record number of 1,200 Australian and New Zealanders visited this morning. Uh, it was emotional to be under, uh, to understate it. And this morning we also had the privilege of having what's called a gunfire breakfast, which is Bundaberg rum, coffee and Anzac biscuits. And later, um, when the beer flowed, we laughed. And the boys that you see here, Gus, Top, and Sean, uh, are from the British Club Pipe Band, and I'm sure they all they, you all agree that they gave a wonderful uh, um, slow march and entrance. I'd also like to introduce an exceptional young lady, gentlemen. If you can just move back, please. And uh, if you can just move back, I'd like to introduce an exceptional young Australian. Corporal Mel ben Benfield was born in Queensland, Australia, has been serving in the Australian Army for 13 years. Mel has served in Iraq and has done tour, two active tours in Afghanistan and has recently returned from her third active combat tour. Very rare. Uh, I'd like to uh, pass over to Mel uh, shortly after what we call, I'm going to ask now, uh, Damien Walker to uh, play the last post. And the last post, uh, if I could ask, uh, please remain relaxed if you are sitting, but if you wish to stand, it, 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 it's okay. <laughs> but what I do ask is that everybody... <laughs> during, immediately after the last <laughs> post, can I ask that everybody please please stay silent. Okay? And if, if someone's talking next to you, just give them a bit of a friendly nudge. But this period of silence is the time that we should all remember those who have fallen 
to in, in, in the name of maintaining and establishing the lifestyle for which we currently enjoy. That's what it's all about. And to understand that they made an ultimate sacrifice such that we can have nights like this. And uh, what I would like to do is now invite Damien uh, to play the last post, a minute's silence, and then we'll read the Ode of Remembrance. Silence, please. going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. Thank you very much and now I invite our very handsome young pipers to lighten up the evening and now we're going to enjoy our Anzac music salute. Thank you. <laughs> 